Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Now, today I've got a success story and it's from Bushy. Bushy, you've written this. I hope you're doing good. Today I'm sharing my success story with you, how I improve my relationship with my family, my colleagues, making new friends, improving my interpersonal skills, communication, depression, sadness, anxiety, behavior, and loneliness. Yes, it is self-love. Whole upon upon a prayer and how you pushed out that you did miracles in your life. My story started back nine years before when I changed my religion sect. It is considered as extremely bad in our society. I faced so much resistance, bad behaviors, non-acceptance, not from only the society, but from my family as well. They started to hate me. They did all nasty things that anyone can imagine to bring me back to the same sect. Finally, I have to consult the court that if something happened to me, then these people would be responsible. Those were horrible days in my life, but the battle was just started. After that, I lost everything from my family. Respect, love, care, and only hatred was there. But I decided I would not leave my home. I kept living with my family, cooking my own food separately. I started doing all my things alone. After cooking, I have to hide my food so that anybody won't poison it as it was insult of my family when the court discouraged them. I had no friends, no social life, nobody to talk to me. My mother's family, my father's family, nobody. People around me. I left all my friends. I can't take outside because I was in a bad situation. I had one family that stood beside me who were actually my mentor. The life was going like this and in 2013 my mentor passed away. This was a very bad time in my life. He was the only person whom I talked to and he was no more. Now I was alone. Nobody was there to talk to. After work, I just had one thing, television. In August 2017, during my YouTube searching, I found your channel. At that time, I was depressed because I had lost my specific person because of my anxiety. I got your channel and started to listen to your videos. I started self-love and as long as I worked on self-love, I became confident. I joined a few social media groups and I started to communicate with new people. During these nine years, I even forgot how to communicate with people except at my professional work. I forgot how to use social media. I forgot how to smile. And I, so, oh, I forgot how to smile. Someone pointed out to me in Facebook group, I don't use smile, emo, joy with comment. Forgot how to get ready for functions or events as there was no social life. I don't know how to take a selfie because there was no one to look for. Last December, I found your videos, everyone, as you pushed out. All of a sudden, it felt like you were talking to me. LOL. I started working on it and my anxiety and depression started to ease. My communication skills started improving. I started smiling. I started to learn social media, communicating with colleagues and all. But I felt there was still something to improve. There were people at my work with whom I had not a good time because my depression, sadness and anxiety. I got it is me who is projecting that and attracting their behavior towards me. Then I found the whole Ho'oponopono prayer and its concept. Ah, that is what I require to dissolve that part from my family, my co-workers and the belief that I, can communi that I can't communicate. I started doing self-love and Ho'oponopono prayers and I found drastic changes in me. My depression was gone. I started having fun. I started to smile and enjoy and I started to dissolve that part that I haven't had a good sense of humor. I can't have friends. Uh, these beliefs I took from childhood and I got new social friends. Within a week, my mother started to communicate a little bit with me and within two weeks, the rest of my family members. This communication was grad gradually improving all of the sudden in March, I got inf infection and I had surgery that I had manifested 12 years ago and I discussed in the Q&A. During these days, they really take care of me, loved. I was amazed by their behaviors. It was totally changed. Last month, my mum and my mum's my brother came from the USA. I hadn't met him in 12 years. I was worried how I would face him. What would he say? 
Um, then I recall what Neville says, imagination creates reality. When I met him, I don't feel that I meet him with his family after 12 years. On one, uh, one the other side with those whom I had issues since one year, those issues were gone too. I was a little bit confused about that bit bushy. That's why I'm pausing. <laughs> I have my family now. I have my few friends now. I have good communication skills with all. I have good conversations with the colleague whom I had issues with. Ha ha ha. But I have one complaint with you and yes. Where were you before? Where was I before? Bushy? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Physically? Mentally? <laughs> Put a comment um, in the thread and I'll um, see if I can answer it for you. But I... Uh, Thank you, Agnes. It's only because of you. You have bring, brought me back to life. Loneliness is very dangerous. I have spent years in it and three and a half years all alone. You are in my prayers always. Bushy. Bushy, that's lovely. Yeah, you know, I don't know what we would do without the internet. So many people say that they live alone as in in their own law of attraction world and it's very hard for them to connect. So... I think this story of yours will be definitely inspiring and I think it's wonderful that you took your power back no matter what other people were doing. You knew that were you pushed out in the end and you just made the changes and as you change, the outside changes. Fabulous, fabulous. Glad you got your power back and wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. I know a lot of people are depressed, have anxiety or stressed, have heaps of fears so this will be a great story for them. Lots of love, Bushy. Mwah.